Okay, in this video, we'll show you how you can use if statements, your knowledge of match and index functions to flatten a table. Now, what does that mean to flatten a table? Well, here's an example of a table. I've got the sales of 20 products in each month of the year. So that's a table. Now, flattening it means putting each data point in a single row. So I might say product one, January, what the sales were. Then product one, February, what the sales were. So this table has 20 times 12, or 240 entries. So I need to flatten out this table with 240 rows. Now, there are several keys to this. First of all, you need to list every combination possible of row and column in the right order. So you want to say in the row and column columns here, you want to go row 1, column 1, row 1, column 2, row 1, column 12. Then start on row 2, column 1, row 2, column 2, row 2, column 12, then row three, column one, through row three, column 12, and finally row 20, column one, for row 20, column 12. Once we've done that, it's easy to figure out what the product is. Just use index function and move down the number of rows you need to get the product name. And then if you wanna get the month, you move over the right number of columns to get the month. And to get the sales, you use index, because you know, like if it's row five, column seven, it's product five in July. Okay, so that'll be a piece of cake once we can get the numbers of the row and column listed in the right order. So we'll start with row one and column one. Now, how can we systematically do this? I could start typing row one, column two, through row one, column 12, through row 20, column 12, but that would be really stupid. That would mean we haven't learned anything in these videos. So let's see if we can use if statements to sort of automate this process. Well, what should the next number be in the column column? column C. Well, basically, if, it, if what we have in the row above is less than 12, we should add 1. Otherwise, we're starting with a new row and we should have a 1. So I'd say if this is less than 12, then I'll add 1. Otherwise, I'll put a 1. Okay, now we're going to need 240 rows, so I probably should put the numbers 1 through 240 so I know how far down to go, and then I can throw that out. Now a trick on that, I can go one, home, fill, series, and I can say in a column and go one through 240. So I know that's how many I need here. All right. Now, what should be go in the row here? Well, we know it's going to be row one, column three, but basically it should be an if statement. See, if this is equal 12, that means we ended the row, and then I should add one more row. Otherwise, I should keep the row the same. Okay, now if I could make this go, oh, it's okay that this is a one. I mean, actually, that should go right here. Okay, so I should have entered that in this cell. In other words, if this was equal to, uh, If the one up above was a 12, then I should add one to the row. Otherwise, I keep the row the same. Now, let's see if this works if I double click and copy it down. Okay, I go, oops, and it doesn't work. So we are messed up here. Okay. So we go C27 is less than 12. Okay, I had the wrong formula here. That's really dumb. This should be C27 plus one, otherwise one. That's okay. So if I double click and copy that down, I think I'll be okay. Okay, so now I'm fine. So I've got one through 12, two through one, two through two, two through 20, two through 12, three through one, three through 12. And I, if I go down to the bottom, it should go 21, 20, row 20, column two, row 20, column three, row 20, column 12. Now control shift arrow, up arrow takes me to the top. Now let's see if I can get the name of the product. Well, that's easy. I could use our friend the index function. Hello, hello index function, our old friend. We've come to work with you again. So the index function, to paraphrase Simon and Garfunkel, I just watched The Graduate this week, I think for the 20th. Great movie, you need to all see The Graduate, particularly you young people. So I want to say that's the range. Now the row is going to be this, and the column is always one. Okay, so that's going to say product one for the first 12 rows, and then it's going to say product two. Now the column 
would be index again. And we go from here. We've got a dollar sign that. Hit F4. Now the row will always be 1. And the column will be here. So that's going to be January. And it should go through December there. And then it's just going to repeat January through December. Now how do I get the actual sales? Well, let's do a range name on the data. So I select this, control shift right arrow, control shift down arrow, I name it sales. And if I do index, I can do F3 and paste in sales. And I can do this row in this column. And hopefully that'll work out. And I can double click and copy that down. Let's just check it. So if I say, Friday to April, is that 96? Yes, it is. Let's go down to the bottom and check another one. It is Friday 20, September 78? Yes, it is, right here. So congratulations, you just learned how to flat. Not with your bare hands, but with Excel formulas. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so, yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.